68 days away from the biggest game in all of football. But the NFL and Super Bowl, no, it brings a lot more to town than just football. Community engagement and awareness are part of it too. Through art, Atlanta's role in the civil and human rights movements will be highlighted. CBS 46's Vince Sims joins us live near Mercedes-Benz Stadium to explain how art and football events go hand in hand. Well, you know, when we hear about the Super Bowl, we think about the big game that happens. We think about the concerts and all the music. Well, think about that. The music, that's art. That's one tie-in right there. But take a look at this. There's another tie-in that you're looking at right there, and that's going to be the Super Bowl is bringing in art through murals around the city, and those carry a message. Eight artists have been chosen to paint murals around Atlanta. Five are from here, like Atlanta native Shaniqua Gay. Oh my God. So definitely it was at OMG. And then it was, what am I going to do? And then it was, how exciting. She's working on a mural that wraps around the inside of the Vine City Marta Station. She thinks it's a stroke of genius to combine sports and art. I think it's a, it's a very innovative way in order to talk about social issues with athleticism. I think it's smart, yeah. 30 murals are going up. The art initiative is called Off the Wall, Atlanta's Civil Rights and Social Justice Journey. The idea is to show people Atlanta's role in civil rights, human rights and social justice movements. A lot of my artwork is really inspired by my own experience as someone who is undocumented um, and by really the sacrifices that my parents made. Yami Cambron is a Mexican immigrant brought here by her parents at age seven. Her mural called Monuments, We Carry the Dreams, features undocumented people of Atlanta and their stories. One that is empowering and positive and reminds us that because of everything that we've been through, there is that resiliency that we have. And so that's what I want people to see in my murals. For Gay, her inspiration came after visiting a youth homeless center. Her installation is called Excuse Me While I Kiss the Sky. Kissing is a human emotion that we don't necessarily accredit with homelessness. Um, and I wanted to bring light to that, um, uh, to the thing that's kind of hidden behind the cracks uh, in Georgia. And looking back out here live right now, that's actually a silhouette of one of those teens with his face towards the sky, kissing the sky. Now, other murals with titles like Liberty, Survivor, Helping Hands, all with messages. And these murals will stay long after the Super Bowl is gone. This is part of the Legacy 53 initiative throughout Atlanta with the Atlanta Super Bowl host committee and Wonder Root, which is an arts advocacy group. Reporting live downtown of Vince Sims, CBS 46 News. Boy, just